tribe. May I say tribe? You may say tribe. A census, therefore, means the movement of every person back to what he considers to be his native township, ancestral capital, to dignify a place which is sometimes no more than a stinking dunghill. Oh, uh, you choose your phrases most exquisitely, Caius uh, Gracchus. So, if the census were conducted according to uh, local tradition, you think your subjects would accept it more readily? Oh, I see. Now we're supposed to count ourselves under your supervision. I hope starting with the king. That is not... Oh, like seriously, it. seriously, have you any idea what this would entail? The shifting of entire populations? The disruption of trade? The divine oh. Augustus is counting on your understanding, your majesty. I hope I shall not have to inform him of any lack of cooperation. Thank the divine Augustus for his uh, unswerving benevolence. Yeah, census. It's a trick to increase the taxes. And we all know where the money ends up. In Rome. But why should it? What does Rome give us? That's not the point. The Romans want to count us. How many we are. Where we are. They want us to know that they are our rulers. But we should have no earthly ruler, no rule but the Lord, no king but God. It's not for you to remind us of the scriptures. Be quiet and go home. I apologize for my son. He's too young to understand. What are you doing to the faith of our fathers? All over Galilee, there are thousands of Jews preparing for, for what you're always talking about in there, the coming of the king who will liberate us. Come. But what are you doing about it? Nothing. We accept the violence of the Romans come like home sheep. with me. We are not worthy of the king Stop to come. That. The king to come will not bring violence and bloodshed. Huh? It is written. He himself is pure from sin. God shall cause him to be mighty through the spirit of holiness. And wise through the counsel of understanding. Now come home. Stay there till you learn more respect for your elders. So even Augustus obeys God. Uh, uh, the prophecy? Yes, the prophecy. For thou, O Bethlehem, art in no wise the least of cities. For from thee shall come forth a shepherd of my people, Israel. If only I could come with you. If only I... Joseph, you'll need help when he's born. Don't be troubled, Anna. He would be well cared for. Everything will be done as God ordered.
They seem to be kings, Lord Melchior, from different lands. I told you we could not have been the only ones to see the sign. Come in peace. Where are you bound? Wherever I am led. I follow that star. I'm sure that Herod keeps a strict watch on his frontiers. He must know that we have crossed them. I would have to tell him, as Balthazar has said, that I follow that star wherever it leads. But what will we find? All my calculations show that there was to be a new heavenly creature, a new star. It was even precise as to place and time. So I made up my mind to set forth and seek what they would unfold. You did not know? Only that it would be something wonderful. The stars are not distant and aloof, cut off from the lives of men. The rising of a new star entails an immense labor in the heavens that always has its counterpart on Earth. The universe is about to bring forth a prodigy beyond our understanding. Your star. My brother, Balthazar, is indeed a sign of wonder. The divine Zoroaster says the next prophet will show himself in a foreign land.